Hello, and welcome to the Big One class. Web 2 is the current state of the internet. And Web 3 is the design and vision for the next generation internet. Web 2's limitation is that it lacks metadata and cannot be understood by machines. As a result, people's perceptions of the internet have shifted. Polkadot's founder Gavin would propose the concept of Web 3. Web 3 has officially entered the public consciousness. Let's talk about Web 3 in this video. What is Web 3? Web 3 is a term coined by industry professionals. The most common explanation is that the information on a website can interact directly with other information on the website. Through a third-party information platform, information from multiple websites can be integrated and used simultaneously. Users have their data on the internet that they can use on various websites. The system functions, so what currently only complex system programs can deliver, can now be delivered with a browser. After auditing the user data, it can be synchronized with the network data. Web3 is a very cutting-edge topic, still full of uncertainty, so that no one can predict precisely when or in what form it will finally appear. With the formation of the Polkadot Web3 Foundation, the term Web3 is gaining traction. At the same time, it has become the subject of numerous controversies. Simply put, Web3 means that the Internet's development has entered a new stage, and it has the potential to take the Internet to a whole new level. Web3, according to computer scientists and Internet experts, will make the Internet smarter and our lives easier. Web1 is the past tense for the current stage of the Internet. 2 is the present tense. And 3 is the future tense. Web3's most notable feature is that it is more user-friendly and controllable. People in the Web3 era will no longer be divided by regions but by interests, languages, topics, occupations, and professions. Web3 allows users to create their own kingdom, with their own loyal citizens, and truly make a free, protected, and decentralized world for themselves. I believe that the realization of Web3 is only a matter of time after reviewing the history of the Internet and seeing how it remains committed to its technology and beliefs. The Big Ones class for today is over here. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.